Hello, welcome to Dragon Ball Z Buu Retsuden for the Sega Genesis. I've already done a video on this where I let the AI fight the AI. Now we, we are playing the Japanese release, the NTSC Japanese release. Previously I used the PAL version released in Italy and in France. I believe I had the French version with the French text. Uh, so uh, there is a mod for this or a hack for this game that released in February 2022. It changes the sprites of Android 18, also known as number 18 or cyborg 18, the female droid or robot robot in the game, in the Dragon Ball series, franchise. Okay, so the hack replaces all her sprites and attacks with much better sprites and attacks uh, in use by the game Dragon Ball Z Betoden 3 or something. Or no, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Betoden for the Nintendo 3DS, a later console. So after the Game Boy Advance, the next uh, handheld console was the Nintendo DS, and then after that, the Nintendo 3DS. And uh, the sprites in the Nintendo 3DS game, is uh, they are really good. The game was named Super Betoden, I think. Or Ultimate Methoden or something like that. Anyway, someone ported uh, much better sprites for Android 18 to this older game for the Sega Genesis. So the resolution is not as good as, for example, the port to Mugen in the Mugen engine. I've also seen uh, those uh, sprites ported for every character. We'll take a look at the sprite here too. We'll select Android 18. She will fight Vegeta. See already that she has a better sprite here. So this hack only works with the Japanese version of the game. If you use the French one, um, you will get a black screen when trying to start the battle, and uh, yeah, it won't start. You will still be able to see the sprite this far. You will be able to reach this area where you select the stage and then the music, and then when you try to start it, it won't work. Same with single player. Okay, so we'll change the stage to the correct stage where Vegeta and Android 18 would fight and then we'll use different music okay let's fight so the only thing the hack does is improve Android 18's uh, sprites and attacks it's a much later title the Super Betoden or whatever for the 3DS Sprite actually looks way worse here than in the Mugen engine, so obviously they had to lower the quality of the sprite in order to add it to the Sega Genesis, which is a 32 bit system. So it's stronger than the Super Nintendo, which we are at 16 bit. Uh, it's twice as uh, strong as the Super Nintendo. <coughs> Alright. Yeah, we can see that Android 18 in this game looks way better than in the original game. Much better looking sprite or character. Borrowed from another official game. Released, I believe, as late as somewhere between 2010 and 2013, I believe. Well, this game is from 94. Reported sprites from a, a game from the 2010s to a game from the 90s. Yeah, the, the sprites look way worse here than in the other game, of course. Because the Sega Genesis were limited in 32 bits. Per second or whatever. Okay, so this is the Japanese version of the game. Okay, another battle. Click the wrong. Uh, I should have taken the option at the top to go back to the selection screen. You can watch another fight between them. The AI versus the AI, or computer versus the computer. So 
this hack is actually recent, uploaded on f uh, in February this year. The ROM hacking site searched for hacks for Dragon Ball games and found this. So then I decided to hack it. Take a look at Android 18, and it's the same Android 18 as the one that they ported to the Mugen engine a few years back. Obviously, I've already checked it out for the Mugen game back then. And yeah, it looks worse here. But it's, st it's still an improvement over the original that we saw when starting up the game. <coughs> so, this game is Buu Retsuden for the Sega Genesis, similar to the <coughs> Betoden series for the Super Nintendo. I believe it's like a mix between the first and second Betoden games. With the same character selection as the first game, but uh, with better graphics like in the second game. <coughs> so the Sega Genesis were a rival of the Super Nintendo. Back back in '94 and such. And these graphics are good for a '94 game. Obviously, that Android 18 is improved compared to the original one. Looks better in every way. The other characters are the original characters from the game. They also probably had to lower her look a little bit in order to not make her look too good in comparison to everyone else in the game. Okay, Vegeta lost just like in the manga and the anime. Super Saiyan Vegeta. Okay. Okay, let's return to the selection screen. And select Trunks. Just play on same stage. Start battle. Fight. There were no city stage, so it made sense to, to let Trunks fight on this stage as well. Okay, so yeah, it's clearly an improvement to her character. More than a visual upgrade it is not. So it's just for for one character to look better. There are some other hacks too for this game. I don't know what they do. I will only check hacks that are interesting to me. <coughs> Balance hacks, character hacks and such. Right. Nineteen ninety four fighting game. Only released in Japan, in France, and in Italy, I believe. Only Italy, or if it was Spain, Spain or Italy, maybe both, but certainly France. Uh, I believe it was Spain and France, the only countries in Europe that got the game. I believe Spain and France got all the Super Nintendo Dragon Ball games, or most of them, and the Sega game. No one else, Dragon Ball wasn't a thing in, in England, I believe, and in Sweden, and in in Northern Europe overall until much later might have been a thing in, in uh, the United States but they didn't get uh, the titles for the Super Nintendo and the Sega for some reason I believe it wasn't as big in the 90s as, as it became later in the early 2000s at least not in the 
i USA. I believe in, in Japan it was huge in, in, in the 80s and in the 90s too. And in France and Spain. It's still, it's still huge in Spain, you know. All the great mods for Dragon Ball Z, Burka, Tengichi, etc. They are Spanish. So it's the Spanish world loves Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Same with the Portuguese world. Like uh, Brazil and Portugal and such. Okay. Uh, except you see here the original sprite look like that way older okay let's select uh, option at the, s s uh, the story mode just select under the 18 will face cell you do not understand the text here it's in Japanese like a story mode now with a new sprite you can skip the text or oh, fight off against Frieza Cell is probably the boss okay battle one okay Okay, I move up and down on circle. Can also jump pretty, fa pretty fast. I can hit, but I cannot move uh, using the L and R buttons like I could on the SNES games. Maybe there were no such touch buttons on the Sega's controller, I don't know. Because it lacks the fast forward to the left and right using the L1 and R1 buttons. Okay, I, I need to use the directional buttons to do different moves. I can't use the, the analog stick. And also I can charge if I press uh, square and X at the same time. I'm not sure where I shoot. will most likely lose this fight. I do not like the controls in this game. I prefer the Super Nintendo controls, but I think the graphics here were better than in the first game for the Super Nintendo. While the second game and the third game were similar to this. I believe the third game had better graphics than this and even comments while the in Japanese while the second game had about the same graphics as this one but had, had worse characters okay we lost the fight okay we can try again all right trail in Okay, so this is like a mod of a an old game. Didn't change anything but the looks of one character. So it's the same game otherwise. You can charge our energy. You can move up on circle. You do nothing on triangle. Nothing on the analog sticks. You can move fast if you press twice this button. Ah, I see. Okay, we can charge our energy. Controls. No idea how to do special attacks either. Much more nice with 
more, more uh, recent games, PlayStation games, and onwards, where you can use the analog stick. Really, the older consoles like the Super Nintendo and the Sega didn't have an analog stick. So you're forced to use directional buttons, which is both annoying to the fingers and uh, sucks. I lost the fight. I give up. I'm not good at this game. That's why I let the AI fight the AI at the beginning. Okay, but I wanted to try out the character. We give up. Okay. We're not gonna press the start button. Okay. Thanks for watching.